Your team's so ready for the big game tomorrow. Yeah, we're ready. But look at the field. There are puddles everywhere. Ah, uh, come on. Don't let a little precipitation get you down. Precip- what? Precipitation. It's another word for rain. Actually, for any form of water that falls from the sky. You mean like snow, sleet, or hail? Yup. They're precipitation, too. Well, if this precipitation doesn't stop soon, we'll be playing slip and slide instead of soccer tomorrow. Don't worry, RJ. Tomorrow's supposed to be hot and sunny. Those puddles will be history by game time. How can you be sure? Let's just say I'm counting on the water cycle to do its stuff. What comes down must go up. The water cycle is the endless path that water takes from the earth to the clouds and then back to the earth again. We already talked about precipitation. Like this rain. Right. Well, when precipitation falls from the sky, it fills the lakes, rivers, and oceans, runs down the mountain, and soaks into the soil. And we drink it. We do. So do other animals. And plants, too. They draw in water to get nutrients from the soil and to keep cool. We're all part of the water cycle, but not the only part. Did you know that a lot of water just disappears into thin air? Really? How? Through evaporation. When water gets warmed by the sun, it changes from a liquid into an invisible gas called water vapor. Invisible? What? The water's still in the air, but you can't see it because it's a gas. I'd call that evaporation. <laughs> so if water vapor is invisible, how do we know it's there? Sometimes you can feel it. You know, like on those hot, humid days? Oh, yeah. When just kicking the ball around makes you sweat. Exactly. Sweat evaporates, too. That's another way water gets back into the air. And plants do kind of the same thing. Plants sweat? Kind of. It's called transpiration. Plants lose water through their leaves, and it evaporates like our sweat does. So, Mr. Water Cycle Wizard, what happens next? Remember, what comes down must go up. The water vapor gas rises in the air. As it does, it cools down. That makes the gas turn back into droplets of water, and they form clouds. It's called condensation. Makes sense. Evaporation is water turning into vapor, and condensation is vapor turning into water or getting denser. And when the clouds get so filled with water that they can't hold any more, it rains? Bingo! The whole process repeats. So water really does travel in a cycle. When water on Earth is warmed, it evaporates and becomes water vapor, an invisible gas. As the water vapor rises into the air, it cools and turns into water droplets again. That's called condensation. Then the water droplets form clouds, rain falls from the clouds, and the cycle starts all over again. Yep. So, here we are, smack dab in the middle of the water cycle. Aw, oh, yeah. I think the rain's stopping. Nice. Now all we need is some heat. Oh, I'll bring the heat in tomorrow's game.